Hi, I'm John Crane, and I'll be reading to you a brief history of Thanksgiving. In September of 1620, pilgrims from Plymouth, England, fled aboard the Mayflower ship to the New World, seeking out religious freedom and new opportunities that the New World offered. After a long and brutal travel to the New World, the pilgrims landed in Massachusetts Bay. During the winter season, most of the pilgrims stayed on board the Mayflower, and many of them didn't make it to the spring season due to diseases. In March, an Abenaki Indian introduced the remaining pilgrims to Squanto, a member of the Pawtuxet tribe. Squanto taught the pilgrims how to farm, catch fish, and what plants to avoid that were deemed poisonous to humans. After a successful corn harvest, Governor William Bradford chose to hold a celebration which lasted for three days in November of 1621. This is what's considered the first Thanksgiving. There are no exact records that detail what food was included in the feast, but Pilgrim Chronicler Edward Winslow mentioned in his journal that Bradford sent out men to hunt for animals for the feast, which included five deer. Fast forward to 1863, President Abraham Lincoln announces that Thanksgiving will be held on the last Thursday in November. In 1939, President Franklin D. Roosevelt chose to push the holiday back a week. This change was implemented to assist shops that were being affected by the Great Depression of 1929 to 1939. The decision was officially approved by Congress two years later in 1941. While the way we celebrate Thanksgiving today drastically differs from how the pilgrims first celebrated Thanksgiving, we still come together and we're thankful for what we have and we're thankful for the loved ones we have in our life.